Are you playing ML without knowing what emblem setup you should use in your hero? Still confused with the new emblem system? Worry not as I have done full research on it and I am here to give a recommendation and also give the reason why I recommend it. Hi guys Kazuki here and in this video I will be talking about the new emblem system and give you guys the best recommendation for all the assassin heroes. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. First, we have Saber. Saber can be really hard counter for almost all squishy heroes. And to give them more nightmares, use this setup. Use the assassin emblem and add the rupture talent to level 1 talent for more penetration in the early game. Master assassin for extra damage in 1 vs 1 situation and use the lethal ignition as the core talent. The adjust state lethal ignition can now be triggered by physical damage and suits well with saber's ultimate. You can also use the assassin emblem with killing spree as core talent, weapon master for more attribute gain from equipment and the rupture talent at level 1 talent. You can choose one from these two setups as this will suit every lineup. For items get tough boots, blade of aptasis, hunter strike, blade of despair, malefic roar and endless battle. Next we have Karina. Karina is a beast when she joins the fight when enemies used up all their skills. And to clutch that up, use the Mage Emblem with Killing Spree as a core talent for the HP region and the extra movement speed after getting a kill. Use the Seasoned Hunter for level 2 talent for faster jungling speed and the Rupture for level 1 talent. You can also use this setup Mage Emblem with the Lethal Ignition as the core talent for the burn damage, Bargain Hunter talent in level 2 for getting items faster and in level 1 get the Rupture talent. For items get the Arcane Boots, the newly added item Stalium Scythe, Genius Wand, Holy Crystal, Blood Wings and the Divine Glaive. Hold up, here's the good news. We will be bringing back our exclusive giveaway of 10 epic skins once we hit 1.15 million subscribers. To participate just like the video, comment on anything related to the video and do subscribe. 10 of the random comment will be selected from our recent video once we hit the goal. Hurry up as we are just less than 3k subscribers to hit our goal. Up next we have Fanny. Fanny needs spell vamp and balance damage. And for that, use the fighter emblem with the killing spree as the core talent. The talent festival of blood for level 2 for the spell vamp to sustain damage and at last the talent rupture for more penetration. With this setup, you can sustain damage and deal a lot of damage at the same time. You can also use the assassin emblem with killing spree as core talent and the master assassin in level 2 talent for full burst damage and get the talent thrill for level 1 for the extra physical attack. For items get the tough boots, blade of aptasis, malefic roar, hunter strike, blade of despair and immortality. Next we have Haya. Haya ultimate needs to be used on one enemy to deal a huge amount of damage. And for that use the assassin emblem with the core talent as the lethal ignition for extra damage and the most important talent for him which is master assassin in level 2 and for level 3 use the talent rupture. And if you want to play aggressively you can use the assassin emblem with the core talent as the killing spree and the level 2 talent as the season hunter for the extra damage to jungle creeps and get the agility for level 1 talent. For items get magic shoes, hunter strike, blade of aptasis, blade of despair, malefic roar and endless battle. Moving on to next we have Natalia. Natalia has to sneak and one shot their backlines and for that use assassin emblem and lethal ignition as the core talent. Master assassin for extra damage and level 1 talent use the fatal for more crit chance. 
assassin emblem with core talent as killing spree weapon master for level 2 talent and talent rupture for level 1 is also a good choice if you want to play a bit safer four items get rapid boots blade of raptor seize hunter strike blade of despair endless battle and malefic road up next is wises Yi Sunshin is weak in the early stage of the match so you need to farm in the early game and shine in the mid to late game and for that use the assassin emblem with killing spree as core talent and level 2 talent as weapon master for more extra physical attack from the items and fatal for level 1 talent if you want to go aggressively in the early game get the assassin emblem with core talent as weakness finder and level 2 talent as the master assassin and rupture as level 1 challenge your damage will be enough in the early stage with this for items get tough boots warrex endless battle malefic roar blade of despair and immortality if you are looking for a 100% safe and secure diamonds kazuki official store is here to fulfill your need we are trusted by more than 100k mlbb players from india philippines and europe to visit our website and browse between various packs Next will be Harley. Leslie's brother Harley can be an annoyance in the early and mid game by constantly marking you and not letting you farm up. To be that annoyance yourself, use the assassin emblem with rupture for level 1, season hunter for level 2, and lethal ignition as the core talents if playing him as a jungler. Rupture for level 1, bargain hunter for level 2, and lethal ignition as core talent for playing him in the lanes. Four items: Gate Arcane Boots, Genius Wand, Glowing Wand, Holy Crystal, Divine Glaive, and Blood Wings. Next will be Lancelot. After the recent patch changes, Lance is back to being the damage jungler like before, and officially, Lancelot has ended. To enhance Lancelot's damage with Emblem, use a Sitchin Emblem with Rupture for level one. Season Hunter for level 2 and Killing Spree as core talent. This will give you damage to both enemies and neutral objectives. Or you can go for Assassin Emblem with Rupture in level 1, Master Assassin in level 2 and Killing Spree as the core talent for high damage output to enemies. For items use Tough Boots, Hunter Strike, Blade of Despair, Endless Battle, Malefic Roar and Rose Gold Meteor. Up next we have Helcurt. Helcurt is finally back after his long ban from the official server and he is looking as scary as before if you know how to use him well. Emblem to boost his stats will be Assassin Emblem with Rupture in level 1, Season Hunter for level 2 and Killing Spree as core talent. Swift for level 1, Master Assassin for level 2 and Killing Spree for level 3 to be an absolute killing machine. For items go for tough boots, demon hunter sword, blade of heptasis, hunter strike, malefic roar and rose gold meteor. And at last we have Gushan. Gushan is was and will be one of the coolest character in MLBB. His skill set requires you to spend a lot of time to master and to use him to the fullest. Use rupture for level 1, bargain hunter for level 2. and killing spree as the core talent with mage emblem for high magic power and survivability rupture for level 1 bargain hunter for level 2 and impure rage with mage emblem for very high damage on skills four items go for arcan boots genius wand glowing wand divine glaive holy crystal and blood wings selena Selena is one of the most versatile assassins as she can be played in the jungle in the mid lane and as well as roaming. Use mage emblem with rupture as level 1, bargain hunter for level 2 and impure rage as the core talent to have more penetration. Earlier access to items and extra skill damage if you plan on playing as full damage build. Agility for level 1, weapon master for level 2 and focusing mark as core talent if you want to play her as a support or roam her suggested build would be the cloak of destiny mana boots genius wand lightning truncheon divine glaive and holy crystal for high damage hanzo 
Hanzo is a pretty scary assassin if you know how to use him well. This hero requires a lot of map awareness and the ability to farm quickly. He can be played both as a damage and utility jungler in the current patch. To use him to his fullest potential, go for Inspire for level 1, Weapon Master for level 2 and Weakness Finder as core talent with Assassin Emblem if you are going as a damage jungler. This will give you much needed cooldown reduction, damage increase and inbuilt slow on your basic attacks. Inspire for level 1, Season Hunter for level 2 and Quantum Charge as core talent with Tank Emblem for more of a utility jungler role as it will ensure that you will survive and take the neutral objectives. Suggested build for him will be Demon Hunter Sword, Magic Shoes, Hunter Strike, Corrosion Scythe, Malefic Roar and Blade of Despair for damage build. Hunter Strike, Tougher Warrior Boots, Cursed Helmet, Sky Guardian Helmet, Thunder Belt and Radiant Armor for tanky build. Ling after Fanny, Ling is the most mobile character in the game for his ability to jump and walk on walls. He is often built with full damage items, so it is absolute that we use damaging talents to enhance his damage even more. Rupture for level 1, Master Assassin for level 2 and Killing Spree for core talent with Assassin Emblem will make his damage state and survivability even more. Swift for level 1 Season Hunter for level 2 and Killing Spree as core talent with Assassin Emblem to have attack speed, fast jungling and HP region. The build I will suggest is Wind Toker, Tough Boots, Berserker Fury, Endless Battle, Blade of Despair and Malefic Roar. You can also use the Swift Crossbow in the early to have more attack speed and focus on your core items. Benedetta Benedetta is one of the most slippery assassins because of her passive where she can dash after charging her basic attack. To maximize her potential, you can go for Rupture for level 1, Master Assassin for level 2 and Killing Spree as core talent with Assassin Emblem for full damage build. Agility for level 1, the Festival of Blood for level 2 and Quantum Charge as core talent with Assassin Emblem for a more survival build. Her suggested build will be Hunter Strike, Tough Boots, Dreadlust X, Malefic Road, Athena Shield and Brute Force. Amon The big brother of Gushen received nerves and people think it is not good as before. Well yes, he received some damage nerves but if you know how to stake his shards properly then you won't feel it that much. The suggested emblems for him will be Rupture for level 1, Bargain Hunter for level 2 and Lethal Ignition as core talent with Mage Emblem to have high penetration and earlier access to the shop. Inspire for level 1, Weapon Master for level 2 and Impure Rage as core talent with Mage Emblem for cooldown reduction and late game damage. The build I will suggest is Genius Wand, Arcane Boots, Glowing Wand, Stalium Scythe, Holy Crystal and Divine Glaive. Joy Our Naughty Leonin is known for mobility and ability to dive into enemy backlines and come out easily. A good Joy player will make the enemy backline melt like anything but it requires some time and skills to master. The suggested emblems for her will be Inspire for level 1, Master Assassin for level 2 and Lethan Ignition as core talent with Mage Emblem if you want to play her in lanes. Agility for level 1, Season Hunter for level 2 and Killing Spree as core talent with Mage Emblem if you want to play her as a jungler. The suggested build for her will be Genius Wand, Magic Shoes, Concentrated Energy, Holy Crystal, Dominance Eyes and Blood Wings. I hope this recommendation helped you guys and if you want more of this series, do comment down below. Now that you know how to use emblems on all the assassins, use it to have an upper hand on your enemy. And with that, here are the 5 shoutouts from our previous video. Vare, William Knight, Kirometa, Sokarai and Basil Shah. 
So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kalsuki Officials.